hanggang 2032 nang wala pong galawan. Kaya lamang po, yung pong contribution rate hike, kailangan po natin ipatupad yan bilang bahagi ah. ng continuous reforms. For that, SSS will have to shell out 32 billion pesos more annually. But a lawmaker says the increase won't be necessary if only SSS improves its collection efficiency. Because of their poor uh, uh, collection efficiency in the past, there is an accumulated 325 billion uncollected uh, fund. Data from ABS-CBN investigative and research group show that 6 out of 10 SSS members failed to remit at least one month's contribution in 2014. Of the over 34 million SSS members, only 12 million were active, and at least 20 million failed to contribute. Selectahan mo na kahit the minimum 110 pesos monthly contribution, that will easily result to a 2.09 billion monthly contribution. No? And uh, annually, aabot yun ng 25 billion. But SSS cites a commission and audit report which states that delinquent employers owe the SSS only around 8 billion pesos in 2014. In the same year, SSS collected more than 120 billion pesos in contributions. Given that, SSS says its collection efficiency is at more or less 90%, and that even if they hit 100%, total contributions will still not be enough to support the pensions in the long term. Despite this, SSS still plans to improve collection efficiency. Pinatanggap po na kailangan nating i-improve ang efficiency, particularly in the area of collecting delinquent delinquencies. This will improve our revenue collection. SSS is asking the president to release an executive order to automatically deduct SSS contributions from all non-GIS members, including contractual. The agency also wants to measure or will require an SSS clearance for Hello. security and permits and licenses from the Professional Regulation Commission, or PRC. It is currently preparing legal action against delinquent employers which in 2014 stood at over 97,000. Thank you, Orange. Vivian Julia, ABS-CBN News. Thank you, Orange. Top officials of government-owned corporations of the SSS are given multi-multi-top salaries and perks that are almost at par with their counterparts in the private sector. As Michelle Long tells us, there was a reason for that. 157 million pesos, that's how much the 44 top officials of GSIS got in salaries and allowances in 2015. GSIS President Robert Vergara received over 13 million pesos, the biggest among executives of four government-owned and controlled corporations analyzed by the ABS-CBN.